Have you been getting in formation with Beyonce lately? Or maybe you're more of a deadhead and think the 70s were the peak of music. A lot of debates about a so-called golden age of music come down to personal taste. But can science help explain where your music taste comes from? According to some psychology research, it's probably linked to your memories of different songs, so there's not just one era of timeless tunes. Developmental psychologists have noticed that the memories you form as a young adult tend to stay more detailed, even as you get older. So so, in the late 1990s, some researchers wanted to see if this pattern was also true for memories of music, and if that affected people's music taste. To do that, they collected a library of songs, with one that was popular in each year from 1935 to 1994. Then they rounded up some elderly people and college students, played them 20 seconds of each song, and asked if they'd heard it before if they had memories related to it, and whether they liked it. The older group liked the songs that were popular when they were teenagers best, while MC Hammer wasn't exactly their cup of tea. And that's basically what psychologists expected. But the younger group was kind of surprising. They liked the songs from their teenage years best, but they also recognized and liked popular songs from the late 1960s, before they were even born. At the time, researchers argued that the late 1960s was the golden age of music, since even the kids with their new fangled grunge were still listening to those songs. Case closed, right? Well, not exactly. Good science means trying to replicate results. So if that was the golden age, other psychologists would see it if they ran the study again. A decade later, some researchers did just that using audio clips from the top two singles from the 1955 to 2009 year-end Billboard charts. They only tested college students and found a similar pattern. Only this time, the golden age seemed to be in the early 1980s, not the late 1960s. These psychologists drew a different conclusion because they also asked how old the students' parents were. And the Golden Age songs were from when their parents would have been teenagers. Somehow, the parents were passing their music tastes on to their kids. But it's not like there's a funk gene or a new wave gene that you can inherit. Instead, it's probably an example of the mere exposure effect. Basically, people report liking a thing more when they've seen it or heard it before whether it's a song or even just random shapes. And it's especially true when they're not paying close attention to the thing at first, like if parents played their favorite songs around their young children. So there probably never was or ever will be one golden age of music, but there's likely a golden age for you. Thanks for asking, and thanks especially to all of our patrons on Patreon who keep these answers coming. If you'd like to submit questions to be answered or get some videos a few days early, go to patreon.com slash scishow and don't forget to go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. The of losing the alcohol depends on a few factors, so you can't assume that it'll all be gone by the time the dish is done cooking. It makes a lot of sense that alcohol would evaporate out of food